I really hope you're going to be able to see this because my son is asleep. He always is in the funniest positions and today is one of my favorites. very slowly but very surely getting more and more moved in and as I continue to organize my closet it gets better. I just redid all my ties and one of the benefits to me of moving is it gives me an opportunity to really see if I want to keep some of the stuff. So I've got a whole grip of ties that I'm going to be giving away. I've also got these here that my wife is going to be cutting up and turning into little ties for my son to wear but I decided that I wanted to do a different method of organization because I say different, I wasn't organized in the way that they were set up before. It was just kind of however. And so here's how I've got them organized now. These are my knits. So you can see those really good as far as coloration goes. These are my grenadines. I've only got two of these. So I definitely need some more in here. These guys are my silks. A lot of these are very summer specific. I say a lot, but really it's just one. Um, and then more that are more dressed up. And then look at how overly represented my wool ties are. The thing that I like about organizing like this is I'm now realizing it's like, okay, I can probably lay off getting any more wool ties for a little while. I'm set on that. What I'm missing are more grenadines and I don't have any other than this one floral guy. I don't have any really good summer, spring specific ties. And so come that season next year, that's what I need to get stocked up on so I can fill some of the holes in here. It's just a good way for me to be able to gauge where I am, what my holes are, what I don't need to be doing more, and what I can be doing better. It is a good day today because today I got in the first part of my most recent commission. I got in the dress chinos. So I'm going to throw these on. We're going to talk about how they fit, but then I'm also going to put on a few different outfits just so you guys can see how crazy versatile these things are going to be and why this ended up being such a good purchase for me. So let's do this. All right, very first thing, let's talk about how these fit. So up through here in the rise was the area where I made the biggest change. Now I do have everything in here. So I've got my knife, my phone, kind of my regular carry stuff. And they fit really well. Um, not a whole lot of break back here through the seat, which had been a problem in the past. They sit really evenly up here in the hips. And then I could stand to clean them up just a little bit more up through here. What I'm curious to see though is when I switch this over to the next outfit where obviously what I'm wearing right now is really casual. And that's part of the intended purpose is to be able to wear these with something like this so it elevates my casual style. But I'm going to throw these on with a dress shirt and a pair of braces. We'll see if that'll clean up the little bit of wrinkling that I'm seeing in both the front and the rear panels and the seat itself. Okay, here we are with a dress shirt and with braces on. And this just does what I was hoping it was gonna do. It cleans this up, it cleans all this up. I mean, these are, these are fantastic. These are, and I just, I know that this is not what you're used to seeing because it sits so high, but I, I really like the proportions of this. All in all, for fit on these, we nailed it. Uh, big props to Curtis for making the tweaks that he did. Now I'm sure that he is probably going to find a few things that he would recommend wanting to tweak. And I'm sure that I will find that too, because again, custom, it's not a product, it's a process. You're always refining your pattern because it's just part of the evolution of how you, you make things. It's just part of the evolution of how your style changes or how you, you know, get the actual execution to catch up with where your, your changing style is. And so, I will wear these for a long time and be really happy with them. Now, I talked about this a little bit in the video where I was talking about designing them, but one of the big benefits of these trousers is just how freaking versatile they are because, again, I will be able to do it with casual stuff like with polos, um, even wearing more casual button-ups. Like I could do button-down collars with even a pair of like Jack Purcells or some any other good kind of like white or... Uh, simple fashion sneakers, but then obviously with all my other sport coats, I'll be able to do this. So I'm going to put on every single one of the sport coats that I own that I'm going to be able to wear with this just so you can see how much mileage I'm going to be able to get out of these pants. It's awesome. All right, up first, classic navy blazer. This is about as simple as it gets, and this is great.
Now, because we're going into fall winter, we'll do that next. You gotta remember that I have a navy flannel jacket on its way and a brown flannel jacket on its way. Both of those are gonna wear really well with this, but as far as existing winter stuff, I don't think I'm gonna pair my light gray jacket. I maybe could, maybe I'll try that one day, but this jacket, this kind of rust tweed, this is money. And then because these are a mid-weight all-season cloth, that means I can also pair them up with summer stuff like this. So this Merlot jacket, this is a Laurel Piana wool, and this thing is great. I love this during the summer. I get a lot of mileage out of it, and this looks great. And then last but not least, all of this other stuff that I've been showing you, those are solids, but one of the benefits of going with a solid in my trousers is that if I do an odd jacket with a bold pattern like this guy, then I can wear them without any clashing because the solid of the trouser ends up being a really good anchoring point. Want to learn about anchoring? Check this out. Anchoring point for the rest of everything that I'm wearing. So here's the deal. I just gave myself six new outfits, six new completely different combinations and pairings than I've had before by buying one single pair of pants. That's the benefit of focusing on versatility. And like you saw in the video getting geared up for this, that was very much an intentional thought process on my part. I knew that by going with these, I was gonna be able to get a ton of use out of them. I was gonna be able to pair them up with a bunch of different things. And that's just with the jackets because I can make each one of those look different by wearing a different shirt or by doing a different tie or pairing them with different shoes. And so my combinations that are available to me are limitless with these. Great, great, great investment. Really, really pumped on this. Now, these aren't necessarily cheap. Uh, I'm pretty sure that prices on these right now are still at $335 for a pair of pants. But again, when you factor in the quality of the cloth, the excellence of the fit, the ability that I have to be able to control for the fit, when you factor in how much I'm gonna be able to wear these and so my cost per wear, it's worth the investment to ratchet it up a little bit more, pay a little bit more money and get everything to look exactly how I want it to. I wanna know what you guys think though. Do you like them? Do you think that there are any things that you would wanna tweak with the fit? What do you think about the pairings? How would you wear a pair of pants like these? And especially, what do you think of the higher rise and the fact that I'm wearing them up higher? Love to get your feedback. If you are interested in joining my exclusive and elite men's group that I've been talking about in the last few videos, go check out this link right up here. I'll give you more details on it. If you wanna know what your archetype is, mine leans more refined, which is why I want higher waisted, fuller fitting, more dressed up stuff. Don't know what I mean by refined? Go check out this link right here. If you want to be able to follow more of my social media to see behind the scenes stuff, see Instagram photos and get a little bit more insight to what the thought process is behind clothing and presence and appearance and all that right here. As always, I hope you guys like the video. Leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next one. I had my fly down the whole time. Did you guys notice? <laughs> Oops. <laughs>